Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. I am back just like I told you guys I would come right back. I didn't want to intertwine the two videos that I was doing because I, I, I want to keep the things of God, you know, separate to where you also can pay attention. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So I've been out and about searching for a building here in the Atlanta area and um, it is <laughs> the devil busy, but you know, God, let me tell you something. And Ranch Allen said it. He, I was listening to a worship CD. Oh my God, that thing was so powerful. Hallelujah, give him glory. And let me tell y'all what happened. Ranch Allen, may he rest in peace. God bless him. He said, you are always being warfare. You see, some people, they like to preach, oh, you're not, oh, the devil is a lie. It all depends how anointed you are. Because I'm going to tell y'all, so it was this building in nice location. I mean, just very nice. So I called the guy and I said, well, can we set up um, an appointment to actually for me to come see the building? Nice. Off to itself. Because I, I can't wait. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I never, I thought, I, honestly, that my ministry was just online. I'm going to keep it very transparent because y'all need that. And when God told me, what he told me about maybe about a month now, but I want to make for, wait for confirmation. He said, you're ready. He said, I need you in this end time to make physical contact with my people. I need you to look them in the face. I need you to pray for them. I need you to hug on them. I need you to love them. The drug addict, the prostitute, the, the, the whatever, whoever. From the White House to the outhouse. Love my people, Deanna. Serve me. Hallelujah. So Deanna on that search. But look, I got to tell you about this building though. So everything getting set up. Then the guy says, wait a minute, wait a minute. The way he said it, he must have felt my presence, right? He said, what do you need the building for? And I told him ministry. He said, oh, oh, no, no, no. We have a clause that anything but that. And I was like, I said, that's all right, God. Because I know when God tell you something, he'll see you through. He'll make provision for the vision. So really, I just want to tell you, I'm not going to give up until I get one. I promise you. I think y'all should know me by now. And yes, I did set up a GoFundMe. And yes, you guys, I also have my address, my post office box in the um, in the title here. Um, I'm going to need some help. I'm sorry. I'm not rich yet. Sorry. <laughs> that's not that's not really real. But I thank you for the ones that have sold and the ones that will sow. I also thank you for the ones that you guys be mailing me some stuff. And I just want to thank you. I'm not going to say no names. I used to say names. I don't think that's appropriate. But anyway, thank you for the cards and money being these cards too. <laughs> y'all, some of y'all still old school. It, 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 so thank you. I appreciate it. Also, one of the students sent me this. She is making some, so I want to shout out to her. I've been vaccinated by Jesus. It's real pretty. I wish y'all could see like everything, but it's real pretty. Yep. So I, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, from Arizona, I'll say that. So thank you for all of the wonderful cards. This is another card, and all it's just little simple stuff. And then a lot of you, y'all write for prayers. I mean, I want to show you. This is just today's mail, okay? You guys be writing. You guys be y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? So I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I can't wait to see this vision come to pass because I know God's gonna do it because I've seen it and I got confirmation again today. And so it's like, okay, God. Don't know how this is going to happen, but everything that I've ever seen God did. Come on, somebody. Let me minister to you for a moment. You see, we all, we, we love that prophet, prophetic gift, and we love that prophecy. Oh, I got a word. I got a word. I got a word. But you know what comes after that word? You got to walk that thing out now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That, that That's the hard part. That's the hard part. You see, the word, getting the word. Hallelujah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. But walking that thing out, processing that thing out, because you're going to, let me tell you something, the enemy is going to try to attack you and to stop you. He'll use family. He'll use friends. He'll use places. He'll use things. He'll use your struggles. Oh, come on, somebody, I just said something. He'll use your struggles. And it's like this, all right? It's you and your destiny. And, and they got these struggles and everything in between them. You got to get to it. Tunnel vision. You don't have time. You run through who you got to run through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You got to do what God have called you to do. Because it was never about you. It's always about the glory of God and what's inside of you for the people of God. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I just said up in here. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So I thank you all. God bless you all. Um, stay on the wall. 
This is also the seventh day of the 21-day Daniel fast. We fast for real. This is not a game. Let me tell you something. A lot of people say, and a lot of people going through, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. Honey, I've learned and learning still. When you are going through something and you know you're powerful and you are anointed, you better keep, like, I don't know if y'all can see back there. Well, I'm, I'm going to just press a little bit because I don't. Um, that's Jeremiah. What I've been doing all night long, that TV stay on. The word of God, all night long, all night long up in here, all night long. Satan, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm pure than I ever been. I didn't say perfect. I'm on it. I'm not playing. I push back that play. I have to make myself eat lately. You know, okay, God will say, Deanna, you got to eat something now. I'm just so on it. And I'm not trying to act like I'm all arrogant. And I got it going on. I'm after something. I want something. I need something. I want to fulfill the destiny that God has put inside of me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. At all costs. And it probably will cost all. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's all or nothing. I used to say this in 2003. 2003. I, I, I wrote on my own thing. I said, all or nothing. All or nothing. And now I find myself saying it again in 2021. All or nothing. All or nothing. Either you're going to give God your all or don't give him anything because he said, if you warm, I'll spew you out of my mouth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just pray that I am encouraging you because that's what it's about. It's about encouraging people. It's about, it's not just about, you know, let me tell you something. The body of Christ, we didn't do too much as a whole. We think, and I'm going here and I'm going to get off of here. This is what we think. <laughs> we think if we get the money and we look blessed, we've arrived. Honey, that ain't nothing. When them demons come, or when your demon, them demons try to snatch your family, which I rebuke, or try to do something to your husband or your wife or whatever, you have a Job experience. See, one thing about Job, God allowed it to be tested because God believed in Job. Yeah, Job might have got a little, a little, you know, like I wish I'd never been born and stuff like that. But truth be told, let me tell you something. God trusted Job. God said, Go ahead, test him, test him, test him. But touch not his life. That's what some of you at right now. You're being tested, but not your life. Come on, somebody. Your life. You, you let me tell you something. Pain purifies you. Lord have mercy. If I had known my death of my daddy, my uncles, my aunt, some of my good friends this year, would bring me to this place of surrenderance, of humbleness. Hallelujah. 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 Don't despise it. Don't despise it. Don't despise it. I know it hurt. I know it don't feel good. I know you don't know this and you don't know that. And sometimes you ain't got nobody around you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it gets hard. It gets real hard. But keep trusting in God. God will never leave you and forsake you. I don't care who around you leave. Because some people going to leave. Because they don't like it when it's good. When it get bad, they don't know how to hold you up like Moses. They held, they held up Moses' hand. But it was two people that could hold him up. You see, you're around people that can't hold you up. Hallelujah. I just said something. They just want, want it, you know, the benefits. And then when the benefits go, they're gone. But you need people that's going to hold you up. Come on, somebody, especially in this hour. I got you. I got you, my brother. I got you, my sister. And I don't want nothing in return. I got you because I love you. And I believe in you. And when that don't work, the Bible says that David encouraged himself. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. 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 So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray that you've been encouraged. Y'all know what time it is. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.